What's going on guys? I hope you all are having a great day. It's a chilly morning out this morning and today we are saying goodbye to the P-Pump 24 valve. She is sold. A guy from Texas brought a gooseneck last night. He should be pulling up any minute. Thankfully, God bless, you know, he made a safe travel. Just got a phone with him. I think we're going to go get some breakfast after, of course, he looks at the truck. It's a beautiful truck. We actually have a surprise in this video that you guys are going to see. Of course, we had to get new headlights before we sent this thing off. We told you guys we were going to get new headlights. We got some projector HID headlights that are going to be freaking sick. Wait till you guys see them. You guys know we use HID factory for all our lighting needs from cab lights to reverse lights, which we have some new reverse lights for this truck, new switchbacks for this truck, and new HID projector housings from Mishimoto that the HID factory custom builds for the second gen Rams. So if you guys are in the market for some second gen headlights, I get asked at least once or twice a day what I recommend for these second gens as far as headlights goes. Link in description, top link, the HID factory, hit up Travis, he's always taking care of me and I know he'll take care of you guys. So whenever, whenever Brad gets here, we'll show you guys those headlights. Go get some breakfast, install them bad things and they should look fire. So we'll see you guys here in a minute when he pulls up. And guys, real quick, shameless plug, make sure you're checking out your ducket keychains and your American flag keychains with the blue line and the green line. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. And top link in the description, make sure you guys are checking these things out. Super good quality, ain't gonna scratch your ride. These are the same quality keychains all the big name YouTubers use. Everyone has great reviews on these keychains. Everybody loves them, they're great. Also, Ducket decals are in the link in the description below on the website. We can custom make any size, any order, any color. But we do have a lot of color and size options on the website. You guys can get the original, the backwards hat Ducket, or some of the newer type designs like that. Make sure you're checking out the website. My wife actually boxes up, actually makes boxes and ships all these stickers and merchandise for you guys. So uh, she's bored. Give her something to do. Buy some merch. She will get that stuff sent out to you at least by the day of or the next day so it's very very fast shipping and only the best quality stuff so make sure you guys are checking that out i never send out merch plugs so i just had to send one really quick I haven't put out one in a while and we'll get back to the regularly scheduled upload what do we have here boys i think our p-pump buyer is here and man i gotta say he has a clean as hell fourth gen and a really nice trailer so we'll have to get a closer look at that thing i think he's going to turn around and come back this way so he can park it's a few hours later, we have been showing him everything about the truck in person. Um, so we have gone through, we've gone on a test drive, we've gone over all the ins and outs of the truck. I mean, sitting here hours and, you know, I don't blame him. So uh, he likes the truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get some pizza. We are going to install the lights, which are right there, that are going to go on this truck. And I think they're going to look sweet. There's also reverse lights on there because you guys know we are going to upgrade the reverse lights on this truck. And there's new switchbacks for these side markers that shine amber when you blink and light up bright white when you're driving. But let's go check out Brad's truck. It is a really nice truck. Six inch BDS four link. Um, so really, really nice lift kit he's got on here. It's a 15, it's a 2015. Six seven, of course, four wheel, four wheel drive. He's got the ridge grapplers on it. It's a really, really clean truck. I really like it. He's got the amp research steps on it. It's just an awesome, awesome truck. Got the axle dump. Real clean truck. It's going to be a nice combination seeing these two. Well, his truck and then the P pump truck on the back of the trailer. I think it'll look sweet. And there's the other side. But let's go get some pizza. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. And we will throw the HID projector, Marimoto lights on the P-Pump truck. And we're gonna show you guys the improved designs on the HID projectors rather than the LEDs. The LEDs are still good, but we're gonna talk about that here in a minute once we get back. Alrighty guys, so we're to the point where we're about to pop these bad boys open and check them out for the first time. Been waiting on these things. I'm really excited to see what they look like. I got Brad holding the camera. He has actually, he's seen a picture of them, so. He hasn't seen what they look like done, but he has seen a picture of them. And of course, like we mentioned earlier, we got these things sent over to us by the HID factory. Travis over there has taken care of me for years. I know he'll take care of you guys too, so make sure you're hitting him up for all of your lighting needs. So, bam. We'll pop this bad boy in here in a second. We will also pop this bad boy. Like we said, we are going to have ballast now because we did go 
You see his logo right there, Elite Series 2. But we did go with HIDs this time, so we're going to have to mount these things up. Probably the way Brad wants to mount them up because it is his truck now, so I'll let him make all the decisions on that end. Another ballast, of course. And, of course, our Mary Motos. So you got your controllers right here. You got your nice mesh wiring. Mishimoto, top of the line stuff right here. So you guys are probably wondering, why did we go with HIDs this time? Why don't we go with LEDs? So HID, honestly, um, has kind of owned the market as far as lighting headlight bulbs go. It's going to be the brightest. It's it's. I mean, no one LED is not beating them yet as far as brightness goes in a projector. Now LEDs, as far as your auxiliary lights, your cab lights, reverse lights, things like that, switchbacks. Yes, LEDs is the way to go. Uh, I did go LEDs projectors on the second gen. I love them. They're great, but this is a little bit better. So that's what we're going to go with on this truck. Of course, Travis uh, can color match the bezels to your Pacific truck. Like these are color matched to this truck and my silver ones are color matched. So if there's something you want to look into getting some of these made, make sure you call Travis up. His information will be top link in the description. These are some badass headlights and we're going to check them out tonight, install them and show you guys what they look like out there. So. About to get into the meat and potatoes, I already see them. So we're about to show you guys, but of course we got the profile switchbacks. I definitely recommend these, they've been great for me. So Travis has those over there, make sure you check them out. Got some more switchbacks, some more switch. Actually two of these are gonna be reverse lights. Yeah, two of those are reverse lights. The other ones are gonna be switchbacks. So, without further ado, Lighting. First time I've seen them in person myself. Bam. Those things look sick. Come over here. See if you can see it from that angle. Those things are gonna look fire, dude. Let's get some better lighting so you can actually see the projector. So if you didn't know, the bulb is actually built in. See how easy this thing is to wire up if you guys were to wire it? You just run your wires. That's all you got to do. Run your wires to your power. The bulb is actually built in. It's a Marimoto projector that, I mean, like I said, the bulb is built into the projector. These are some really high quality lights. Can't wait to throw them on see how bright they are. Let's check out the other one. There is the other side. Of course, I got a little smudge on the lenses for my hands, but those look so freaking good. Let's throw these things in the truck. Shouldn't take us but a minute. By the way, these are adjustable, so if you are scared about blinding somebody or oncoming passengers, it's a Phillips head, and you just turn that with a Phillips head. You can adjust them while they're inside the truck because there's so much room behind these. You just turn it, lower it, higher it, whatever you want to do. Sometimes I like to put my driver's side projector a little bit lower than my passenger side only because I don't want to draw I don't want to blind that oncoming traffic so sometimes what you have to do when you have super bright lights you gotta be considerate of the people coming ahead or coming from ongoing traffic oncoming traffic so we're gonna throw these things in we'll show you guys what they look like when we're done give you a little overview of how we installed them and we'll show you what they look like. Alrighty boys we are back we didn't record throwing in the headlights, the switchbacks, and the reverse lights. They look great, we're already done. He's back in the truck up now. We've been super rushed for time because he's actually hitting the road tonight and he has a long drive back to Texas. So he's gonna back the truck, he's about to start the truck. He's gonna back it up, show you guys what these things look like. They look freaking sick.
Alrighty guys, just got him to cut off the truck and pull in the garage a little bit so you can see what these things look like on the truck. And man, they look great. The bezel's a gloss black and the back behind it's like a matte black. They look really good on the truck. Gives it a really, really nice look. God, I couldn't be more proud of how this truck turned out. Make sure you guys are hitting up Travis at the HID factory for all your needs. Let him know Caleb from the Paradox YouTube channel sent you over and he will definitely hook you up and take care of you. He would either way, but he definitely takes care of my supporters because my supporters take care of him and he's just a great guy like that. So uh, Brad, go ahead and hit the headlights. All right, so you guys can see the beam on the wall. I'm actually gonna turn off these. We're actually gonna, we're gonna take it outside too on the road, but let's cut off these lights. We may need to adjust them a little bit, but keep in mind the truck, the way it's sitting in the driveway, is kind of at an angle like this. So of course the headlights are gonna point up like that. But we could always adjust them. I showed you guys that earlier, so we may have to, may not. But he is on a pretty super decline right now. But they look awesome. Let's put this thing out on the road and see what they look like lighting up the road. These things are insane in person. I really hope the camera is doing it justice. Guys, I don't think you understand how bright these things are. I can see at least 100 yards in front of the truck down this road. All right, so this is without the fogs. That's with the fogs. So you can see the fog lights in the fortune bumper shine the road right in front of it. We cut the fogs off and we got our Marimoto HID projectors shining way down the road. I think it's a great combination. I'm gonna get a shot from in front of the truck. That is insane, boys. turned out pretty good well boys she's on her way out of here it's a sad sad day but we're moving on to bigger and better things she's on the trailer headed to Tejas I think she's gonna be a great truck for Brad and he has a beautiful beautiful 6-7 I actually uh, drove it when we went to get pizza and it just makes me want one so much more. After seeing the Fords and the new GMC Denali's, it's just, you gotta love the Cummins, man. They may not have the best interior, and they really they really don't. The Rams don't have the best interior. Even the Longhorns can't touch the new Fords. But, uh, yeah, you can't beat the engines on these 6.7s, that's for sure. You got some weight back there now. So good. Man, oh man, those are some beautiful trucks right there and it sounds really good. His exhaust brake is just makes me want a 6.7 even more, a new 4th gen. So yeah, it's been probably a long video. I don't know, I haven't really recorded too much today, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We're saying goodbye to the first of the three trucks. So 
one step closer into building the channel into something a little new or something fresher. I did um, pick up something from him. We did do a little trade with some cash and a surprise in this box that you guys will be enjoying very soon. And it's crazy fuzzy in here because the lighting is bad on that side of the garage. I want some garage lighting. There's a company that makes garage lighting for the actual garage door. So uh, I've hit that company up before, but I don't think they're a full company yet. I think they're just building up right now. But yeah, nevertheless, I'm rambling on. I'm, I'm really tired. I'm probably going to go inside, edit this video tomorrow. You guys will see this video tomorrow night, and then we will be back in the regular scheduled uploads, usually every day or every other day. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like down below if you did. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you're hitting up Travis at the HID factory for all your lighting needs, whether it's headlights, reverse lights. I don't know if you guys seen the reverse lights, the switchbacks, by the way. They are bright white when they are not being blinked. And then when you turn the blinkers on, they flash yellow. So those switchbacks, I've always ran them. They look great. They really clean up the front end. They've always been a top upgrade for me as far as looks go. But yeah, hit up Travis. He'll, he will take care of you. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. I'll see you guys tomorrow.